Vince are all dressed up. Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Is it just you two? Yeah. All right. Welcome to our NCAA Championship press conference with Texas. We're joined by head coach Jarrett Elliott and student athletes Molly Phillips and Logan Eggleston. A reminder to everyone, please no video recording of press conferences and please silence your phones. Coach, if you would please begin with an opening statement on the championship match tomorrow night, and then we'll go to questions. We're excited to be here, uh, to live another day, and to have an opportunity to get to the top of the mountain. Um, you know, we've got a lot of respect for what Louisville does and the competitive team they have. They're extremely well coached, and uh, we've got to get our team organized so that we can play Texas volleyball and, and have a great chance to do what we set out to accomplish. We'll take questions now for coach and the student athletes. Please raise your hand if you have a question, and we'll bring a microphone to you. Please identify yourself and affiliation. Um, Danny Davis, Austin American Statesman. Logan, I don't know if you just want to redo your acceptance speech, can you, but can you <laughs> react to your award? And then, Molly, can you talk about how proud you are of, of your girl? Um, it's an honor, honestly. There's so many great volleyball players in the country and on our team, and so it's really an honor to get recognized like that. But it's definitely a team award. I can't. Couldn't have gotten that award without all the hard work all my teammates have put in. They're putting me in such great situations every single point, and so it's honestly truly a team award. Yeah, and we're just so proud of Logan. I mean, we've known all season that she is capable of getting this award and deserves this award in every single way, so we're just really excited to hear her name called, and I was probably, you could see that at the ceremony, that we were really pumped for her. <laughs> um, but yeah, she's just great on and off the court and keeps on working and sacrifices everything for this team and is, totally deserves that recognition. Lincoln area, Omaha World Herald. Jared, what kind of problems does Claire Chasse uh, provide for your team, or what do you do against her? Serve tough. <laughs> Get her off the net. Uh, no, she's just a, a really experienced attacker. You know, she has all the shots. She can also hit, you know, they do a lot of things similar to what Nebraska does. You know, they, they hit the high hands, flat hands. Um, they work the ball around the court, and uh, very efficient attacker. We just got to try to slow her down. We're not going to stop her. You know, we just got to see if we can contain her and get some good touches. And, you know, our hand positioning and where we are uh, will be critical. And, again, yeah, you got to serve tough to get them off the net. Uh, hey, Cedric Golden, Austin American Statesman. This is for Amali and Logan. Um, I know this is a big opportunity to win a championship. Um, also, what would it mean to bring a title home for the OG, Jared Elliott? <laughs> I mean, that's the main goal that we've been thinking about all year. It's the reason that we came to Texas. Jarrett's done, sacrificed so much for every single one of us, and so it would mean so much just to bring it home for him. He's worked so hard over the years and gotten there so many times, and so just kind of get over that hump and win it for him and bring it home back to Austin would just mean so much. Yeah, we've been in literally this exact position before a few years ago, so it would mean a ton to bring this home for Texas, for Jarrett, for literally everyone. I know we have so many alumni and people behind us, and we really just want to do it for everyone. And Jarrett's worked so hard to put us in the position that we're in today. So just go out and get it. Does OG mean the old, old guard? <laughs> <laughs> I know what it means. <laughs> I'm just saying I've been here for a while. <laughs> yeah. yeah, M.A. Vopel from uh, ESPN.com. I guess uh, Coach and Molly and Logan, if you could all talk about this, Louisville's been a really good serving team throughout this tournament. Uh, I think they had 10 aces yesterday. I know you guys have been against tough serves all year long, but how important is, is it to, you know, to be able to serve receive really well against this team? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what a lot of teams um, plan to do against us. They need to get us off the net so we're out of system. And so we've been facing it a lot throughout the entire season and a lot of our games. But also we just have really great servers in practice. So we're facing really tough serves in practice, which is making us a lot better. But, I mean, I think our passers have done a really great job of setting Sage up to get, you know, the ball distributed pretty much to all of our hitters. And so it's going to be a key for us tomorrow to make sure we're just passing it high and off the net and able to run our offense. Yeah, we – 
talk all the time, like to win a game, you need to be the best to serve and pass. And um, we work on that a lot in our gym. We also work on being good and not a perfect pass situation. And we're really good at that. So like Logan said, if we can get the ball high up and down the middle of the court, we can run our offense and put our hitters in good positions. If you talk to any coach at this level, they're going to say serve and pass is the most important aspect of the game. So. You know, we know they serve tough. We can serve tough from our line as well. And we just got to manage the tough serves. You know, get them high up and down seven or eight feet off the net. It doesn't need to be perfect all the time. But we've got to identify when they're, when they're good serves and, and can try to control them so Sage can get underneath it and deliver a ball to both pins. Um, Molly, do you, is this a revenge game um, for y'all? Or since it's a championship game, does, does 2019 not even matter? Uh, well, we definitely want to get a little revenge on 2019. Uh, that was my freshman year, so it would be nice, you know, to come back uh, after we put a lot of work in and come back and uh, take a win off of them. But also the championship game, it's just like a lot of it, you know, we want to take one step at a time and take it as just another game. But there is a lot of, like, heart and meaning behind it, yeah. Yeah. Um. Coach, we, we talked a little bit on Thursday about what it's like to uphold these expectations year after year after year at Texas. I'm wondering what about the game in terms of the, the skill level of the players and the parity has, makes that hard? Is it because the talent is now spread out so many places? Is it because you have so many different types of skill players or, or, or all of those things? It makes it hard to keep reaching this level and yet you guys still do it. Well, right now it's the fastest growing women's sport. And so the level of athlete that's coming out, um, you know, we have a lot of people transitioning over to the sport of volleyball. The physicality now is there. Um, the club system is so good that the players are developing and, and have it control the ball. And there's a lot of great arms. I mean, you're seeing it with Louisville, right? They're not real big on the left, but they've got million dollar arms and they can manage it and they've learned the nuances of the game to be successful. Um, so they do it, and they can master it a different kind of way. So the, the level of the game continues to improve, but the physicality is the big one right now. I think when I started in my first Final Four was 2000, I think I had two players maybe touching 10-1 and 10-4. My two outside hitters were touching 9-10 and 9-11. And now if you're not 10-3, 10-4, you're, you're pretty small. <laughs> so it's, uh, the game changes, but it's – and there's the coaching has developed. You know, the, the – there's so much science behind it. There's so much uh, numbers, analytics behind it. People can really study the game and, and manage the game. So there's a lot more information out there than there was 10, 15 years ago. Um, it's kind of a random one for me, but Molly and Logan, how protective are you two of the finger tape tradition? And what benefit does that provide you all out there? And, and also, how did you convince Madison to start doing it? <laughs> I mean, we're going to do it. So that's, right. <laughs> that's one thing we do. I think Maddie started doing it because she got her nails done and she didn't want them to break. So then she <laughs> taped her nails and then just ended up taping her fingers. But now she likes it. So she just had, we had to get her to try it once right. and then exactly. understand. But um, the Texas tradition is, I guess, what we got, how, why we do it. But I like it. I think it helps with, I don't know, mentally with blocking, I guess. Yeah. It makes me feel like my fingers aren't as jammed, I guess. I don't yeah, know. You, I mean, you see the people at our gym, they're hitting balls pretty hard and so it protects the fingers a little bit or at, le yeah. at least makes you think like they're a little bit more protected but yeah Maddie, Maddie is finally on our side <laughs> took a lot of convincing but yeah when the nails got done we we're like hey tape might help so took the nails being done but we got her there and then Logan I know you probably don't care about this right now but because of your award you've done what you needed to do to get your jersey retired here in Texas um, at least you know you've meet the qualifications why do you wear 33? I mean, I know you were in high school. What is that significance does that number have for you? It was my dad's number. He played Division Three basketball back in the day at Emory and Henry in Virginia. Small, small school, but he he was a third team All American. He tells me so. He was a, he was a good player. So he was 33, and I decided I wanted to follow in his footsteps. He was a great athlete, and so I decided to be 33, and it's worked out pretty well for me. Any final questions? Okay, thank you, Texas. Thank you. Thanks, guys. A recording of this press conference will be available in the NCA Digital Media Hub. Transcripts are provided by ASAP and will be posted shortly.